Well, my name's Elizabeth Roberts and I live in Salisbury. Um, and I heard about Ecoside uh, a few months ago. I heard about the work of Polly Higgins, um, the international lawyer um, who, who wants to bring in the law of Ecoside. And I think it would be so it would make such a huge difference if we were to get Ecoside written into international law um, to prosecute either individuals or companies for going into the natural world and destroying our much um, uh, valued habitats um, to, to save species um, from going extinct, um, etc. Because it is so important now to do this, and I think the world needs to get behind um, the, the Stop Ecoside campaign. Um, you can actually go online onto a website, um, put in Stop Ecoside, um, you can go online onto a website and become a conscientious protector um, and find out all about it for a minimum donation, I think it's five euros or something. Um, and I think it, is, it would make such a huge difference just to get that written into international law um, and to stop the habitat destruction, stop the extinction of species because we are now in the middle of the sixth mass extinction um, and things are right on the edge of, of unravelling. That's, that's what it is. It's, um, and if we carry on our, our industrialised civilization as we are, we are going to come completely unstuck and um, there is going to be mass starvation due to crop failure, for example. Um, if the ice caps melt any further, um, you know, we're just going to descend, our society is going to descend into chaos if we're not careful. And um, crop failure and um, uh, food, food shortages will lead to a complete breakdown of law and order. So that's, that's why I think to stop, to stop Ecoside, to bring in this law um, would make such a difference.